Hi there, this is Aaron from HowToSing.com and I'm here to talk to you about singing tips. In fact, I want to give you three, uh, three pretty good singing tips, kind of get you along your way in your singing. Um, the first one is about the tongue. The tongue, when you're singing, the tongue is considered one of the biggest enemies of the singer because it's always in the way. First of all, it's the only muscle in the body. I don't know if you know your tongue is a muscle. It's the only muscle in the body that is connected at one end, but free at the other end. So it's this it's weird thing that, that that is only the only muscle in the body that does that. Well, it also is in that you're trying to sing and it's just like in the middle of, of your your mouth is one of your busy, biggest resonators to be able to sing, and it's just like in there, in the way. So, where is the tongue supposed to be when you sing? The tongue is supposed to be 70% of the time, give or take. The tip of your tongue is supposed to be on the inside of your lower teeth there, just resting there, right there. So, all the vowels, like, oh, like if you say, hey, hey, where your tongue ends up, hey. Right there, that's where your tongue's supposed to be for all the vowels of singing, and most of singing is vowels. Consonants are something that's just like a, a t like a really quick get the consonant just to get to the vowel, because actually singing is just sustained speech. So basically, it's the vowels that are the sustained part. Ah, oh, e, you know, all the vowel sounds. So your tongue's supposed to be there. So when you do a any kind type of consonant sound, like I said, like a th or a t or you know anything like that. The tongue does need to lift up to get that constant sound, but immediately needs to get right back down uh, where it's supposed to be. That will help you have better tone and, and help your voice to resonate more, which means more volume and kind of a bigger, fuller quality sound, which all singers want. All right, next tip. Uh, your, your posture makes a huge difference with how you sing. If you're bent over, you're leaned over, then you're not going to, you're not going to diaphragm breathe, which I want to talk a little bit about your diaphragm. It has sing from your diaphragm. You hear people say that a lot. Um, singing or breathing from your diaphragm basically is means that your diaphragm, uh, when you breathe in your diaphragm, lowers and pushes your intestines to the side and to the front and out of the way. So it opens up that cavity so your lungs have a nice place to, to expand. Okay, so um, breathing from your diaphragm basically means you have good posture and you don't raise your chest when you're breathing in and you don't lower it when you're breathing out. That's how a lot of people breathe. That's how most of us um, breathe. But the idea is to have your chest remain relatively high to begin with. And when you breathe, have expand from in your stomach and your sides, your, like your lower rib area. And if you keep that position as you're singing out when the, it's exhaling, instead of letting your chest cave, it will help the diaphragm to continue to, to to be in the descended position and not ascend, not to rise up too quickly. Anyway, there are a couple of singing tips for you. I've got a ton more singing tips and a lot of um, articles, information, videos, really good stuff on, um, I think I told you, I'm from howtosing.com. Uh, I've got the link just below, actually, howtosing.com. Click there, just type in howtosing.com, and I'm there. I've actually got a video up there right now, uh, how to sing high notes. It's a long, full-packed content video, how to sing high notes without the strain, because that really is the problem when you sing, uh, you know, you got that, you get rid of that completely. How to sing high notes freely and uh, without strain. So check that out, howtosing.com or click the link and I'll see you on the other side.